Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity introduction course. Today we are going to continue to explore the Unity interface, by taking a closer look at the Unity menu bar, and its several options. You can find the menu bar on the upper left corner of your screen. As you can see, it has several options, file, edit, assets, game object, component, window, and help. Step 1, the file menu. Let's start with the file menu. The first two options allow you to create a new scene, or to open a created scene. In Unity, the scenes work like levels. You can use scenes to create environments for your game, menus, or even a combination of both. They are the base in which you will build your games. The next two options allow you to save your scene. Let's give it a try. Click on, save scene as, and on your asset directory, create new folder called scenes. Now name your scene and save it. As you can see on the project tab, your scene is now saved. You can open it using the main menu, or double clicking on it in the project tab. Did you notice how we created a new folder for the scenes? It's important to keep your project well organized, especially when you start working on bigger games. You will have a lot of assets and, as you probably guessed, keeping everything on the same folder will be a total chaos. A good project organization can save you a lot of time and headaches. The next three options allow you to create a new project, open a project, or save it. Did you notice how the scene saving and the project saving are separated? This is because you can save a project without saving a scene and vice versa. So, don't forget to save your scene modifications when you leave Unity or change scene. The next options are the build settings and build and run. The last one allows you to do a build of your project and run it. The first one lets you choose the platform for which you are developing. By clicking on it a new window will pop up. Here you can add your scenes to build and change the platform you are working on. To add the current scene to your build, just click on the add current button. This will add our current scene to the list. An empty list of scenes in the build will result on an empty build, meaning that all you will see will be blue. Every time you want to add a new scene to the build, you must perform this step. The scene that will be launched when your game opens, will be the one on the top of the list. To show you how you can choose the default starting scene, create a new scene. Now add it to the build. To choose the starting scene, just drag it to the top of the list. On platform, you can choose the different platforms that you can work with. For now, leave it on PC, Mac and Linux standalone. On the right side you can change several aspects of your build, like the target platform, or the architecture. On the bottom of the window, you will find the player settings button. If you click there, several options about your project will open on the inspector tab. Here you can change several parameters of your project build, like the resolution, the project icon, or the splash image. Note that this option change depending of the platform that you're building to. The last two buttons are build and, build and run. 
As you have already guessed, Build allows to build your project, while Build and Run builds the project and runs it. On the next video, we will continue with our lesson on the main menu bar. Please, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.